Hello everybody, my name's Downloadable, and welcome back to Let's Play Cube, and in a stunning turn of events, this is actually going to be a new one rather than stuff I pre-recorded a while back. So, let's get on to one of the most fun puzzlers I've played in a long time, actually. That's all the other ones just make me want to pull my freaking spleen out. Alrighty, thankfully there is actually an auto-save function in this game, as it started at the beginning of that corridor. So, plus point... I didn't have to do the whole stage again, and also it reset this, because I really fucked up. Negative side of that, uh, I had to listen to that stupid woman on the radio again, and she annoys me something fierce. Anyway, that's not too bad, really, is it? Well, actually, no, I really hate her. So, let's try and get this sorted, because I made an absolute piss and mess of it before, let's be honest. So... Uh, bah, 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 bah. Things I have to do. Who knows? Ah, wait, hang on. I really made a pig's ear of this before. I don't quite know why. I just really seem to find it ridiculously difficult. For reasons I cannot ascertain. I think when I, uh... I watched everything back, I'm like, Why have I found that so hard? Because really, surely all I have to do is what I've just done in as much as syncing them up so they are both pressed against the thing and then boom, boom, and then it's just a case of lifting them up, surely. Well, that said, I can't actually, there we go. I forget, I use the wrong one constantly. Don't knock the cube off. And there we go, I think. That should be it. Ah, now, wait, hang on. Do I recall that as long as you've done it once, the door's unlocked and I'm fine? Should be, hopefully, anyway. I think last time I just got really befuddled because, um, because I'm stupid, but also because I'd done about three or four in a row and my brain was starting to just turn into mush. Is this what I meant to do? This is not what I meant to do. Oh, hi, other thing. Hmm. Can I do anything with you? Because I'm actually stuck. Heh. Heh. Oh, tits, McGee. I think I might know what I have to do. And I really should have thought about things before I started just hitting crap. As per. Um, take you down. To London Town. Anyway. Heh. Heh. Alright then. So, bad news and whatnot this week. Well, last week and also this week. I, oh, criminy. Surely I should have done that quickly so I could get like a little hop going. Ha! No. Fine, I don't know what you want from me then. I'm stuck. Anyway, yes, last Sunday, David Bowie died. That sucks. 69 and he'd been ill for a long time. And turns out, bad time to be a celebrity and 69 years of old age. Because um, just before coming to record this, I read that Alan Rickman also died at 69 of the same illness. I don't know whether the same particular type, but still, that kind of freaking sucks. I mean, it sucks in general, whoever uh, would die of that. But then, I, I was fond of those guys. They were cool. It's kind of... Oh! Sorry, I just realised I did good without meaning to. Maybe. Come on, train of thought. Get back on the rails. Um... Can I do what I need to there? Oh. How am I meant to turn you into stairs? <laughs> right. Oh, hang on. Got a plan. Man with a plan. Little burst. Heh. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't know what you want from me. What do you want from me? Oh. Do you know what? That might do it. 
That could be just a little push I need to get up on it. Oh, yes, I'm such a freaking pro at games and life and existence in general. All right. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes, bad news and things. So, yeah, that came as kind of a shock, especially as Bowie had only just had an album out. And I think it was two days after his birthday. And he'd, as far as I know, managed to keep his illness quite quiet and under wraps for, I think, 18 months. And that's... Yeah, that sucks in general. And I, I didn't know Alan Rickman was ill either. And then there was the very rapid, aggressive stuff that took Lemmy the other week. So it's... And hell, the guy who played the mayor in Ghostbusters... Wow, okay, physics just went bye-bye. Uh, David Margulies, is that how you pronounce it? Margulies? I don't quite know. He was awesome, and uh, he also gone. It is a bad time to be a celebrity, I swear. Um, need to think, Dan, need to think. It's not your strong suit, but, you know, might be able to work something out. Interesting. By interesting, I mean I'm very much confused. Um, does that help me in any regard? <gasps> yes, it does. Oh, good gravy delicious. That's. Oh, I think I. Nah. <laughs> right. I bet I need to sync these up. I'm not just gonna. Well, actually, I am gonna start hitting things. I've clearly just started doing that. Okay, we've done one. Uh, all right. All right. So put you back and I go, boom. Yes, okay, I think I see. Push. Ah, fuck knuckles. Does it have to, like, stay right there or can I just pass them through like that? No, because I've broken it anyway. Good for Dan. <laughs> oh, crap. Wait a minute. No, that might help. Possibly. Has it? Has it helped? It has not. It has done nothing to uh, press my advantage over these small cubes that cannot think for themselves. But still managed to fuck me over. Interesting. All right. So we're going to hit that one again. Do that. And maybe be a bit quicker on the trigger. So, now. Son of a gun. All right, hang on. New plan. New plan. And if things cut out very suddenly, I just got told my um, controller battery is a bit low. So that'll be why that's happened. I think I know what i got to do. I got... No, Dan. No. Oh, you fucking idiot. I didn't know I still had that turned on. Damn it, son of a biscuit. Okay. Uh. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's very warm in this room. Also, that's not fun. Uh. I'm confused. There we go. But yes, um, how about instead of being grim, because I realize that's gotten kind of dark and depressing rather rapidly. <laughs> Okay, then I don't know what you want from me. Huh. D what? I... What? No, seriously, what? What in the world of what? Oh, maybe I had it right earlier. Kind of. No, go back that way. Oh, no, now I've done it too far. No, I haven't. That is what I want. Isn't it? Give me a second to think this act is very warm in this room and I need to just adjust some things before I die. I have slightly addressed the whole being fucking warm as hell in this room problem. However, it is actually windy as hell outside, so my door is banging around a lot. And there's a lot of wind coming in ruffling the curtains and things. So if there's a load of annoying noise, I apologize. It's kind of... Uh, beyond my control until I complete the machine. As I was saying, 
a minute ago before I got confused and warm. Instead of being all grim about things, which, granted, is usually my go-to thing, so I thought I'd be new. Ha! Is that... No, no, no. Sorry, I, I have a brainwave, and I may know what the hell I'm doing, kind of. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, all right. I, um... Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Instead of getting uh, all maudlin and upset about things, which, granted, people have a right to be. But let's think about awesome things. Put down in the comments, uh, what's your favourite Alan Rickman performance? What's your favourite Bowie song? Or any sort of anecdote to do with either. Oh, crap, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing there. Because, um... Uh, I may have mentioned on numerous occasions how much I like at my way block the yes yes I've ah, ha, 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 ha. come on and get that out of the way and then push that back out yes I've mentioned on numerous occasions how much I like come on the Hitman series and one of my favorite PS2 games ever was Hitman much power left. So I'm talking to be continued. Is like a tiny plant. Is it? To push its way towards the light. Quite. But as soon as she sees it, I am a mighty rotatentrum. I vaguely recognise that voice. Anyone else? You're going to get to talk to your wife. You're going to get out. I don't want that. You're going to go home. You're going to save the whole earth. That's I don't want to do that poison. either. There's some unpleasant people there. It. If you am want I? it to stop. You have to stop it. Wow. Wow, that's just a blisteringly insightful comment, Sam, my friend. Wow, I finished that sector. Ooh, it's a black... Oh, hello. Interesting. This is different. I don't like change. Wowzers. All right, then. Oh, God, someone left a Roman candles here means I'm not the first guy. Well, well, things are going on. Okay, never mind. I'm falling. And someone painted in my visor. So I've got two trophies in quick succession. One for doing uh, magnet puzzles and one for completing Sector 5. Don't know how many trophies there are. Can't imagine there's too many sectors either. Oh, that was some lovely texture popping. Well, my hands are always blue. I don't recall that being a thing. Shut up, door. Your input is not required at this juncture. Anyway. Yes, I have mentioned on numerous occasions how much I like the Hitman series, and Blood Money is one of the best games in that series, and one of my favourite PS2 games. Hello, Wheatley. How are you doing? What the fucking fuck? Stop throwing curveballs, fairly literally. While I'm trying to speak. Oh god damn. I have faith you can hear me. Thank you, GLaDOS. It's going crazy Good to see there. you've got work still. The outside of the cube is coming away in big chunks. Good. It's incredible. Good for them. You're doing really, really great. I know. You're all doing very well. No word on talking to your wife yet, but it'll <laughs> happen very soon. Don't Isn't worry. that nice? Oh good. I wasn't worried. Other than that. Can't imagine anything Maybe I was less concerned about, to be perfectly honest. But I figure talking to you is therapeutic. Shush. Uh. Especially for me, actually. Hmm, branching pathways. What I said before. Not so much branching pathways. About how pathways. being alone out here can mess with you. Uh -huh. It's messed with me too. Has it? I don't care. I, can't I don't remember asking. This is fairly one way, as short. a friendship goes. I figure. Interesting, uh... With your radio out? Pretty. Not. You can keep a secret. <laughs> now, I'm going on space Twitter as soon as I can. Oh. Fifteen days ago, I was on a spacewalk on the outside of the station. Uh-huh. Did you punch Tim Peake in the face? I was replacing one of the old communication face? antennas. The sun was disappearing over the western edge of the earth behind me. Why do I care I about this? So quiet out there. So I'm trying to talk. About nice things, Sometimes well, you can't be sure you're trying to turn a horrible thing on its head, so it's not enough. 
No, they I start to move away. Not nasty. And, uh, and I hear this voice. Only it's my voice. Not in my mouth. Okay. Not in my head, but outside, next to my ear. Right. It's the only way I can explain it. So you've got a case of galloping crazies. Why is that my problem? It said... The call is coming from inside your helmet. God is dead. Wonderful. You've read a Jonathan Hickman comic. And I don't I know what you want from me. me. I grabbed my tether and pulled myself back into the airlock and shut the door. Uh-huh. I know it's just my brain keeping itself busy. No, 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 and no, no. And that's no. why we do you're, you're isolation wrong, tests before we you don't go have out. Brain. But Christ. Yes. I'm orbiting out of range. I'm Good. sorry. Bugger off. Keep going. Haven't you got space Please keep jobs going. to do? Take out space trash. Standing on apparently movable tar. Anyway, yes. Back to where I was. Blood Money, one of my favourite PS2 games ever. And it was towards the end of the PS2 sort of uh, major part of its lifespan. And it was a really good looking game. There was a lot of content to it, but that meant some of the uh, noises that, that came out of the fucking machine were just abhorrent. It was awful and it was really off putting trying to sneak around and having ka clunk, ka clunk, thinking that your bloody console was going to go kaput in your face. So, one of the longest albums I had at the time of playing that. Um, was a David Bowie Greatest Hits uh, two-disc thing. And basically my go-to thing when I wanted to play Hitman Blood Money to drown out the horrible clunking noises which were quite disconcerting was to just sling on that. So whenever I play Blood Money, I just I cannot help but link it with David Bowie. And when I hear any of those songs that were on there, I just think to playing back to one of my favourite games ever. And that's kind of a, a nice... But granted, the subject matter of the game is fucking dark and grim and not nice at all. But, you know, having that connection there is quite quite nice in itself. If you know what I mean, I, I don't know if I'm making any sense. And, yeah, well, probably not at all. I was going to try and come up with a favourite Bowie song, but I, I like so many. I think Gun to My Head, I'd probably go with Modern Love. That's a bloody good song. But then I find myself in the last couple of days just humming through and singing loads of other ones that I really like. And... Despite the fact I haven't listened to any of his stuff in a while, to be fair, I just know a shitload of lyrics, and it is very strange that he's so so abruptly left the world. It was quite weird. Uh, and Alan Rickman, wow, I mean Hans Gruber, and his portrayal of the sheriff in Nottingham. Was it? Uh, oh, I can't quite remember the exact thing, but when he just yells about um gonna cut out Loxley's heart with a spoon or something just whenever I heard that I just oh it's brilliant I loved it I laughed my butt off anyway that's a fairly kind of grim note to end on but I'm trying to turn it into a nice thing of just thinking about good stuff from their careers so you know comment down below with a favorite Alan Rickman film or performance or favorite Bowie song or whatnot like I already said earlier it's kind of sad I know, but uh, think about the good things and all that. I will try and talk about some more cheerful stuff in the next episode, but I'm going to wrap this one up for here because my door rattling, quite frankly, is getting on my chime something fierce. So pop a like down below if you enjoyed this. Share, comment, subscribe. Um, get other people to weigh in with their Rickman slash Bowie related things. Or Lemmy. I forgot about him. Poor old Lemmy. Oh, well. So, yes... Thank you all very much for watching. I've carried on long enough here. Doodaloo. Hey there, friend. How do you feel now that I'm up here? Are you at all repentant for your earlier fuck-uppery of my day? What's that? I can't hear you of the gurgling death you seem to be spouting everywhere. Toss rag. Yes! We're gonna upgrade that. Because <laughs> I'm nothing if not petty.